I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to our series on algebraic identities. Earlier in 6.1, we learned what is a plus b whole square. Now we are going to expand to a plus b plus c whole square and let us see what is this all about. So uh, let's multiply. We have a plus b plus c whole square. That really means that we should be multiplying a plus b by c by itself, right? So a plus b plus c. Now we know what x plus y product is, right? So what I can do here is make groups. So we'll make groups like this, treating a plus b as one number, correct? And c as the other number. You get an idea, right? So once we do that, then what we will do here is that apply the formula, which you know that if I have x plus c whole square, it should be equal to x square plus 2 times x and c plus c square, right? So treat this number a plus b as x and use this formula. I hope that is clear, right? So both of them we'll treat as x and then we'll expand. Is it okay? So we'll expand here with x square means a plus b whole square. That's what it means, x square plus 2 times x times c or cx will multiply a plus b with c. And then when we say c square, it is this c square. It does make sense to you, right? Now, we know this formula of a plus b whole square, which is repeating this formula. So, so we could now write this as a square plus 2ab plus b square, right? So we get the trinomial for the first perfect square and now here when you multiply 2ac we get 2 times ac plus we get 2 times bc and we already have c square. Now if you look at it you are looking at 3 squares which is a square plus b square plus c square and you are also seeing uh, 2 times ab plus 2 times AC and also 2 times BC. So twice combination of these. So that is what the real expansion for A plus B plus C whole square is. Right? So it is easy to remember. Now let's try to visualize this also. Correct? So we'll just make a square here whose sides are A plus B plus C. So let us say we have this square and in this square we are just dividing into its sides. So let us say this is uh, A, okay, and this is, let's say, B. Okay, let's make like this, right? And this is C. So what we have here is A plus B plus C, right? So one, each side is A plus B plus C. The other side is also A plus B plus C. So we'll make kind of square here, A, and then we have B and C. So we have A times plus B plus C. Do you see that? Just as we did in X plus A, where you can make a square, multiply, get the area. So what do you notice in this particular area? Diagonals, A times A is A square, B times B is B square, and C times C is C square. Do you see that? And the other parts... You could multiply A with B, so you get AB. You could also multiply B with A, getting AB. So you get two ABs. Correct? Similarly, when you multiply C with A, you get AC. And here C with A is AC. You get two ACs also. Perfect. How about C with B? So you get BC and here, C with B, you get B, C. So clearly, what you get is this result. Perfect. So now, let us remember that A plus B plus C whole square is indeed equal to A square plus B square plus C square plus twice A, B plus twice A, C. You could change the order, right? Plus twice B, C. 
you could change the order but two times each so that becomes a very very important formula for us another identity to remember and based on this identity we will now take some practice test questions right so i hope that makes sense correct so just pause the video go through this and understand how we derive this particular formula now when we take conditions we could take negative numbers also so if b is negative in that case these two terms will be negative so if b is less than 0 that means b is negative in that case what do you see that is to say what is going to be the formula if I change this question to a minus b plus c whole square square terms will remain positive always correct because square of negative is positive now we are making b negative now this b is negative which will make this negative so you get minus 2ab here there is no b a and c are positive but this will become negative again so so if one of them is negative that is how the equation will change now with some practice questions i think that concept will be absolutely clear so let's take up these questions and then move on to the next topic now here are three practice questions for you you understand the algebraic identity a plus b plus c whole square which could be written as like this a plus b plus c whole square is equal to sum of their squares each one of them right and then sum of twice two of them right so it could be any order doesn't matter so two times ac so that becomes your formula use this formula and write down the answers and then check with my solution okay let's begin so in this case x plus 2y plus 3 whole square we get x square plus 2y square plus 3 square plus 2 times we have to take two terms right so x times 2y plus 2 times we can take x and 3 so we can take x and 3 and then plus 2 times 2y and 3 right so but consider all of them one by one right so we get x square plus 2 square also don't forget that so 4y square 3 square is 9 and here we'll multiply 2 and 2 get 4xy plus 2 times 3 is 6x and here we get 2 times 2 4 4 times 3 is 12 so we get 12y okay so so that is how we are going to expand them correct next one i like you to do it and then check with my solution the first one i hope all of you must have got it right so here we get x square minus so the square terms are all positive so let's just write positive here 4y square plus 9 so this time i'm not writing like i did last time and <clears throat> now we have to write two times x times 2y so it is two times x times minus 2y so that is going to make this negative is it okay plus two times x times 3 and then we have 2 times minus 2y times 3. So see what happens. So we get these square terms as positive as expected. But here the sign changes. Since we have minus 2y. So, so two numbers will be with negative signs. So this is first of them. 4xy. So wherever the y term is there you will get negative. Plus 2 times 3x and again negative. 4 times 3 as 12 why does it make sense to you so simple as that now in this case we got two negatives so negative negative becomes positive remember that but let's try to expand this again so we get square of 2x which is 4x square square of uh, 3y which is 9y square square of 1 is just 1 now let's multiply twice these terms so we get 2 times 2x times minus 3y plus 2 times 2x times minus 1 plus 2 times minus 3y times minus 1 correct so that gives you the result let me change the ink and write down 
4 x square plus 9 y square plus 1 and here minus right 4 times 3 is 12 so we have 12 x y so only y negative term we get one negative in this case minus 1 is negative so again negative 4 x in this case two negatives multiplied so we get positive 2 times 3 is 6 y do you see that so that is how you could expand a plus b plus c whole square terms with these examples i hope you got good practice we can move on to 6.3 and learn about some factoring techniques i hope you find my videos interesting and useful feel free to subscribe to them uh, write to me about if you have any questions i can always post solutions to those questions and address exactly what you need that's what we want I hope you enjoyed the journey. Feel free to write your comments, share your views. And if you like and subscribe my videos and share them with your friends, it'll be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.